Good morning, everyone. This is Tim from the Word of Life Church. Uh, well, I guess by the time maybe some of you might see this, it'll be afternoon after you get home from work. Uh, and uh, I'll say I hope, I'll hope you've had a, a good day by that time. Uh, nice outside, sunshine, and kind of gray, but I mean, it feels wonderful out. I mean, I believe we, I, you know, spring's just right around the corner. I can't believe we're getting ready to change the time back this coming weekend. I mean, the time is flying. Before we know it, it's going to be half a year again. I thought, my goodness. And then a homeward back, you know, back in the other direction. It's just, uh, I, I really seriously begin to wonder if time is is actually works like we supposedly understand it. Uh, I know people say oh, you just get busy and you don't worry about it time. I I don't know about that. I'm, you know what? I, I question everything. If it comes from man, I've learned to in the in the the my my short amount of years. Hang on, let me adjust this a little bit. There in my short amount of years. Uh, to question everything um, as far as man goes uh, I don't question what God says because what he says is him being the creator knowing everything because he created everything uh, you know I trust God's word trust what he tells me no questions asked uh, what man says there is a different story uh, and depends on who you hear it from, what you hear from, you know, and the that, that, that star just talking about time, you know, time, time being a constant. Uh, I'm not actually convinced of that, just to be honest. And some of your high, highest level scientists that have an entire wall full of degrees from universities and stuff like that will be sitting there laughing at me. Well, that's fine. Go ahead and be laughing at me. For one thing, if you don't believe there's even a God, you're a fool. The fool, the fool in his heart, has said in his heart that there is no God. So, you know, any more well, of course they don't, they won't get impressed. Any more, any more creationist and Christian sign scientist. I'm not talking about the Christian scientist religion. I'm talking about actual scientists that believe the, you know. That the Bible is true. Hey, the Bible is accurate uh, it, it, in so many ways that they're beginning to find. They're just now beginning to find it out. Our te our technology and our understanding of stuff that in the past was so you know you know just wild and nobody can understand it. Um, the people are just starting to realize and doing research in the Bible, realize how correct that it actually is uh, scientifically even. Uh, I know it's not a scientific book, you know, this is a book that's spirit and in truth. And of course, it's going to stand when the world's on fire, praise God. Uh, so, uh, it's it's interesting to me to see this stuff. And, and this is part of the stuff that I, uh, excuse me just one second, come on, come on. I gotta get my little baby up here. Beautiful. Uh, we, 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 we love our pets, you know, everybody does, you know, I understand. I, I know there's some people that, that are, that uh, love their animals and they don't have anybody else. So, uh, you know, you know, it's, it's good company to them. Uh, but uh, some of them sometimes gets on your nerves. <laughs> but anyway, uh, moving on here, I just want to come on this morning and do some uh, uh, news and I'm planning on doing a teaching, preaching, whatever video. Uh, after this, or maybe after the uh, the next cup of coffee, that <laughs> way to kind of get the old vocal cords rest and do it again. But I'm planning on it. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I hope everyone has uh, has had a good day. By the time you've seen this, or if you've seen it during the day, sometime. Uh, like I said, looking forward to spring. I am. Uh, hope everyone that uh, ha that has still has midweek uh, church services had a good one last night we had a wonderful one. Oh man it was a uh, you know uh, good singing good you know good shouting good uh, preaching of god's word uh you know sometimes god's word hurts and you know there there, there, there is a rod the rod of correction uh sometimes has to be uh preached um you know it talks about in uh 
in Proverbs talking about the uh, well, you know, you know, spare the rod and spoil the child, or in the other version, you know, chasing chasing thy son while there is still hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. You know, that talks about uh, how we're to uh, uh, you know we correct our children, and uh, you know, just because we spanked them, hey, I got I got spanked, I got paddled in school. The last time you heard that, how many years has that uh, not been in effect or not been allowed? And some, when I, when the, <laughs> when you went to the principal, principal's office, you dreaded it because I, you, uh, I, of course, you know, wouldn't look as big now, but back in that, back in the day, you know, the paddle <laughs> that he used looked to be about like five, it looked like a, looked like a cricket box, as they call it, big thing, this big flat thing on right here. You know, but it's a thick piece of wood with holes drilled in it, taped up handle and everything. He's like, good grief, what are you, what are you doing with that thing, you know? Uh, but uh, at any rate, uh, it, anyway, talk, like I said, going back to the subject about uh, about the midweek service, uh, I hope that you all had a good midweek service, uh, if you still have it. And I pray that you still do, because, you know, don't, don't just... Uh, but I, I understand that a lot of people, uh, to them, a midweek service is, I think, getting to be a thing of the past. At the very least, all they're having is midweek Bible study because uh, there's not enough interest anymore. People are not interested. And I understand people are busy and have to work. That's 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 understandable. That, that is totally understandable. So, and uh, you know, if some people even have to work on on Sunday, so it's a rare occasion that they'll be able to get off and be able to, to attend service. Uh, that's why. Well, I mean, you know, our services are are uh, thankfully to uh, uh, you know, uh, thanks to a uh, one of the families at our church, uh, and one of my in laws at the church that we go to. Uh, bless them. They, you know, set up a uh, a video camera and uh, post our services on YouTube. That way, everybody can see them. And uh, if you miss one, you know, just go back. And after a certain point, it may take a little bit of time because it takes some time. You know, of course, being busy and everything to get them uploaded. But they do get uploaded, and uh, you, can, you can watch them. Uh, just kind of, you know, like I do this right here. You know, and and you know, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Uh, I heard some people complain, and I actually used to uh, kind of complain myself. I was like, "Well, man, some of these aren't getting very many hits." But you know what? As long as God's word is getting to the right person at the right time, the way God wants it to, whether it's through me or through someone else, or if it's just one person out of however many that. The Lord speaks to and they get saved as I've seen, you heard me say it before it'll all be worth it all the the effort all the study time and everything and you should study anyway I should study anyway because I'm technically a, a preacher and evangelist uh, watchman that's <laughs> been spiritual warfare pray you know there's quite a bit of callings uh, on me I feel like and impressed about um, Gave the uh, and it went along right along with the pastor's message last night. And I don't say this to lift me up, okay? So don't misunderstand me, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just telling you, you know, like our service uh, gave a message to the church. The Lord didn't impress me. Had it been impressing me for a while, uh, you know, it's like every time I would start to do something like this thing, that the, the the thought, the picture, the vision would come back to my. Uh, Sorry, looking at one of the animals here, making sure they don't do anything. Uh, would come right to my, uh, right back to my thought. So uh, after someone had said something, and prayed there at the church last night, uh, you know, delivered uh, kind of what the Lord wanted me to. It wasn't very long, but it went along with the lesson that uh, the, or the the preaching, the message that uh, our uh, our pastor, uh, Brother Junior Mount. Uh, that he brought went right along with it, uh, and like I said, I don't don't say that I don't say that to bragging myself at all. So please don't misunderstand me. I'm just I'm just saying, uh, you know, everything works together. Everything works together for the good. To, to, you know, to them that love the Lord. You know, and 
So, uh, anyway, let's move, uh, you know, I didn't mean to get into all that. You know, when I get on here, sometimes I start chasing down rabbit trails. You just need to hit, hit, hit a button, a buzzer, or something like that through the system, <laughs> through the computer to, bu to say, you know, hush and move on. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we like talking. We like talking about the Lord and you know the church and uh, His will being done because that's what it's all about. And what what is His will? That we all must be born again. He wants us all saved. He knows not everyone is going to be saved. The road to hell is widening, continues to widen. But being as Christians and saved, we've got to stay on that narrow walk that leads to life. The other walk leads to destruction. Let's stay on the narrow. Straight. You ever heard the old say, oh, we got to be staying on the straight and the narrow. Straight and narrow. It's an old-timey old saying there. Uh, still true. Uh, I wish we had some of that old timey spirit of God preaching and ministers that used to be uh, you, st you do not find them anymore you can't find them anymore if you do you found a jewel I'll say that a man that actually lives by God's word preaches God's word with you know uh, without fear without favor through the Holy Ghost and fire man uh, I only, I only Hope and wish the, 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 and pray that the, the Lord grants me the ability to do something like to be a preacher for however much longer that we have. Uh, I'm gonna go. Ahead, I, I was kind of hashing out here whether or not to do the the teaching preaching video first to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the news video out of the way. There's quite a bit of stuff. I'm gonna try to you know. I'm not gonna apologize. I'm just gonna do it as long and get it when it's when it's done. It's done. Because there's still quite a bit, and there's, there's maybe some I skip, but let's get started. Uh, this is American. I've talked about this before. Uh, there again, this is one of these. Believe it or not, you know, believe it if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. Uh, but uh, this is America is under attack by weather and earthquake weapons. Okay, now the gentleman that put these news articles in here, uh, Mr. Steve Steve Quell, Stephen Quell. Uh, says I suggest you acquire my book Weather Wars and Unnatural Disasters. It will show you how long weather and seismic weapons have been in use. And to my knowledge, just that has been since at least the 60s and the 70s because it was talked about among the nations during that time about how to do it. We know that they can do that weather, weather control, weather modification through satellites, through chemtrails, and you know whatever technology whatever technology else they can use you know something that's that old see see how far we're behind and that's nothing that is nothing compared to how far we are really behind okay some things for the consumers we're about 20 30 years behind they say okay well that's that's you know understandable some things come out and it's you know you never heard it's like yeah this has been around and but the government and military has been using it and it's in the, you know the, you know we've got it now you know like we have like the, some of these companies sell first generation night vision devices well i don't know what generation they're in now but you know what, what fifth or sixth generation or something you know that's way way ahead of what we the consumers can have that's just a quick example i'm talking about other stuff and other things they've got that the government got, the military, or the B system has got will blow your mind. Might want to sit and name off stuff and everything like that uh, because uh, I don't want all of a sudden uh, some trucks coming up the driveway or cars and hauling me away. I'll, I'll say that I'll, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, but yes, uh, if you want more information on that, that book, uh, you can get it from uh, st stevequell.com. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like Brother Steve. They don't like him because he is, uh, he, he's pretty pretty firm outspoken. Uh, and uh, uh, I'll say this, uh, and, and I say it respectfully, uh, he, he can be abrasive to the devil's people, the devil's side, uh, and and challenging them, uh, so that uh, and, and hey, that's 
They don't. They don't care to be that way toward us. I know we're to show love. There, we're we are to show love and mercy, absolutely. But also, we've got to stand and be counted amongst God's people as warriors, good soldiers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are to stand up and be counted amongst those soldiers of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, a soldier doesn't sit there with his with his weapons and just sits there while the battle's going on and sit there and watches it. He gets out and he gets in the heat of the battle and fights it. So thank thank the Lord we have brothers and sisters out there that are also watchmen that are you know teaching and showing stuff and uh, uh, exposing stuff uh, that go on uh, biblically uh, you know share things that the Lord has uh, you know showed them praise the Lord for them uh, which, I wish we, we need more we absolutely need more I can name off several right now that I can think of but uh, you know uh, I know they don't want any you know press for themselves or not in it for anything else or any fluff or they you know or they shouldn't be should be in it to just give information preach and teach God's word and but that's what I do really with this uh, cat one cat's got now with this uh, with the news broadcast here to kind of let you know what's going on uh, the gathering global storm will a Chinese takeover of America lead to martial law in the US uh, and uh, adds on it says when prophetic dreams meet current events uh, a while back and uh, I think this is going to come from yeah this is from all news pipeline uh, reference them a lot uh, here a while back, I don't know which one, but it, it was well in one of these uh, news type videos we're talking about. Uh, okay, my computer's going crazy here. Uh, we mentioned that mentioned that if something happens and martial laws is declared against the American people, uh, it's going to be some. It's going to be either at the at the very least you're going to have say I'm just going to a quick example, say military units or guard units up north that's going to come down south, and the southern ones are going to go up north. That way, there's no chance of anybody encountering any of their friends or family members when it comes to martial law. Even worse, what it's going to be, it's going to be foreign troops is going to be rounding everybody up that way and they don't care they'll just shoot you right on the spot unless you have a way to defend yourself and I and I do believe I stand firm on this you have a right to self defense that's not murder that's not that you want to have to hurt or kill anybody but you have a right to defend yourself and your family and your friends that's a God given right as I said, do I ever want to have to hurt anybody? No. No. I've never said that. They ever come over here and said, yeah, I want to do this. No, I don't want to do that. There's some, there's some things that some of these people do, the sin they commit. Now, I've said before that it would be it would be real easy to slip into that mode and want to do that, want to uh, uh, pronounce judgment to yourself on somebody. But we can't judge, you know. God's going to take care of everything. He, he, we don't have to worry. He's not slack. He's not slack. And he sees everything. He remembers that He knows everything. And if we don't realize that, then we got a lot. Then we still got a lot left to learn. We need to be learned some more. We know, you know, he's. It, it trust me. Trust me. It's okay. It'll be okay. Well, we will. Uh, Nobody's going to get by with any you know, anything. Uh, and, and, and hey, those of us that are that are saved, if you're saved out there, we got enough to answer for for ourselves. Uh, so the less you can think about stuff like that, see, that's the problem. A lot of times we ponder a lot of stuff in my mind. I do the same thing. Sit there and ponder something, something bad that's happened, like somebody's done something against somebody else. You know, especially if it's something like. An adult has done something to a child. Uh, that's one thing that infuriates me. Uh, 
so it's easy to it would be real easy to slip into that judgment mode well i would do this if i had that guy here type of thing you know uh, whereas we really need to pray in a situation like that and that i know understand the hard so you said bro you don't understand these situation like you never had that happen you know you don't have any kids you don't know that that's right i, I you're absolutely right um but still can uh, I mean, it's just question if a person does whatever it is uh as long as they don't do something that the bible says that's you know pretty much the instant ticket punch right to hell can they not still be saved can they not turn from that way repent for what they did ask the lord to save them and try and try to make things right as, as right as they can We'll leave that question. Let it let it sit there and twist and turn in your your noodle. Let's call it. Uh, this right here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is a very very long article, uh, but worth reading. Worth reading. Um, when prophetic dreams meet current. Do do do. I'm I'm gonna give you the the sites. Okay. And like I said, why don't you uh, go uh, go uh, go read them? Take the time and go read them. Go ch go check them out. Uh, I'm just doing this for the sake of time because it's an awful long article. This comes from AllNewsPipeline.com. Okay, uh, and it's all one word: AllNewsPipeline.com. And the article is uh, dated for today. Um, and it was uh, said submitted uh, to All News Pipeline by a minute to midnight. Uh, the Gathering Global Storm Exposing the Darkness. The name of the, the, uh, the article is The Gathering Global Storm Will a Ch Chinese Takeover of America Lead to Martial Law? in the u.s when prophetic dreams meet current events i know a lot of people that have been uh, having many many dreams about things that's happening and it's going to happen here in the last days uh i myself uh, if you have if you have dreams that you know sort of what they are you can't really see them clearly because but you know the feeling of what it is and what it was I get those a lot and sometimes when something happens it's like it snaps it's like, oh, that's what I saw has anyone else ever done that I would say a lot of people have uh, I don't know uh, or, or, or it can be an open clear vision that the Lord can show you uh, as he did uh, the, his you know the apostles and the disciples and the uh, and uh, as we say back in the day, uh, well, he, I mean, he's still showing uh, men and women that are close to him that pray and uh, seek wisdom, seek wisdom and knowledge, and uh, an open vision for them to see, uh, for them, the Lord to show them uh, the things that are going on that wouldn't happen, so they can warm. I pray that too, being a watchman, because I'm the, I'm on the wall with the shofar, the horn, you know, the ram's horn, sitting there looking scanning back and forth doing rounds around the city so called looking in all directions if you see the enemy you blow that horn and announce that give that warning that's what we're supposed to do uh, even you uh, I'm not and I say I say it's not putting you down but you lay members that you know that are prayer warriors or whatever you got a job too First and foremost, like we said, you know, to seek and save that which is lost, destroy the works of the devil. That's part of it. But also to witness and to watch and see what's going on as well. You see something going on, that no one else is, give a warning. Tell somebody. If you see the enemy moving, tell somebody. Tell the pastor. Tell the deacon. You know, whatever. Uh, so anyway, I, I, I kind of got off on that a little bit talking about that article, but don't read that article. A lot, a lot of you better if you take it in and uh, read it yourself. 
Uh, but like I said, it's, it was a pretty sizable article. So uh, if you get a chance, go ahead and read it. Okay, uh, U.S. sending B-2 bombers to Asia uh, amid North Korea tension. Oh, man. Uh, I tell you what, this Kim Jong-un, he, he is such a... Um, he's not a very nice person. Uh, he's I, I could say so many other things about it, but uh, I'd have to pause this video and <laughs> probably repent and come back on. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, but it, you want to? This, this guy, this guy's an idiot. This guy is an idiot, completely. It, it just he's, it's, he's like a little boy with with, with uh, you know pl playing a video game. And thinks that he can, you know, treat the rest of the world the same way. He sees the world as some his 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 a video game that he's playing. Then if he decides, oh, if I want to push the red button and launch these missiles and, and destroy my enemy like I'm playing t -t 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 on the video game, I'm going to, he's crazy. And he's got a bad haircut on top of that. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's, let's a bit. U.S. says it has dispatched. Three B-2 stealth bombers on a training mission to the Asia Pacific region amid growing tensions with North Korea. We're starting to we're starting to take action now. The world's starting to take it serious, to take him serious because he just launched. I think, I think what was I watched the uh, some of the news and it was late late like last night that he had launched two more missiles. Uh, into the ocean as a test, you know, to, uh, but they could, he could retrofit, put a nuclear warhead on some of these and be able to hit, you know, so, uh, if nothing else, de definitely South Korea, if nothing else, and surrounding, you know. So this guy, this guy's a threat. Why he is in there, people ask, because of the world elite and, you know, the... Uh, People that run things, you know, that 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 use that see the, the world as their chessboard and everything, uh, they uh, they want him there. Um, apparently, we in the highest levels want him there. If we didn't, he would be gone. Okay. Uh, what are we talking about? You know, we don't do assassination. Wake up. Wake up. Get your head out of the sand. Pour the sand out of your ears. Pay attention. Get in the game here. I'm not just talking. I'm not talking conspiracy. Look, I'm so sick of hearing the word conspiracy theorists. Conspiracy theorists. But it's kind of what's kind of funny is and sliding is a lot of the things that people would used to say. That is just conspiracy. That's conspiracy theory. That, 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 that has you know a lot. A lot of them have turned out to. Oh wait a minute. Look read this right here and it actually it's come true so uh watch what you say why don't you just not even say that i want you to say well we're gonna watch this and see if it comes to pass because some of these like i said some of these things have actually come to pass that people used to sneer at and say, oh, that can never happen and you know uh you learn really fast sometimes about when you say something like that and, and uh, you know something does happen makes you feel about that small doesn't it? because uh, you realize well you know, <laughs> I was wrong about that uh, especially if I've said it in a, uh, you know before a lot of people oh that would never happen and everything and it, uh, it something actually does end up happening just an example uh, so you know so I am I'm so sick of hearing that word conspiracy theory or theorist I just want to vomit you know what the way I look at it, I'm going to report the news. Other people's going to report the news, share what's going on, and everything, and not worry about it. You believe it if you want to. You know what? Other people's going to believe it and going to be prepared, and they're not going to be led into destruction. So there you have it. Okay, the deployment was announced Wednesday by the U.S. Strategic Command, which is responsible for the U.S. nuclear forces. Oh, oh boy. Uh, B-2 bombers are capable of launching nuclear as well as conventional weapons. They are based at Whitman Air Force Base in Missouri. Uh, let's see here. 
or just just a hair more. Actually, uh, it's not very long here. Strategic command said the bombers will conduct training, training, training uh, with the Australian military during the deployment, which means they're doing some saber rattling uh, in front of North Korea, uh, which amounts to a show of force at, at the time of the mounting tensions with North Korea. Uh, North Korea. Uh, preemptive nuclear strikes after the United States and South Korea began large-scale war games this month. Uh, Strategic Command declined to say where the bombers will be operating from or for how long uh, and I understand why they would say that of course Uh, but that's the end that's come from the Associated Press. Uh, So they uh, But it's starting to take this guy a little more seriously because he's a madman. You know, killing his old family, killing old girlfriends, you know, uh, he's, 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 he's psychotic. Demon possessed, of course, you know, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Uh, you know, who knows, you'd agree with me, you know, Legion, maybe, maybe he's got 10 Legions demonic spirits in him some of the stuff that he does who moving on uh fukushima's ground zero fukushima still going on still destroying the pacific ocean it's one third uh, it, it, it's dying you know animals killing animals animals coming up washed up come you know or floating a scene with, with gross on them growth growths i can say that word uh on them from the radiation it is a mess that J- Jap- the, the Japanese have made a mess of this. Let this go on and let it go on. Didn't say anything about it. You know, hush, hush. You know, keep it down. We can control this. Guess what? They're not controlling it, and and they're not going to be able to. It is out of control. Period. And it's killing the Pacific Ocean and all of it. It's happening, people. Uh, it says Fukushima's ground zero no place for man or robot now I, I, I saw this news article last night talking about it. robots sent in to find highly radioactive fuel at Fukushima's nuclear reactors have died the radiation is so bad that it's killing the machines killing the robots to go in to just even measure how much radiation is at the Fukushima's ground zero area. That should tell you something right there. And guess what? That's coming out in the waters in the Pacific and it's coming toward our Pacific coast. Japan, thanks a lot. Appreciate that. You've handled that wonderfully. Couldn't say anything. Couldn't give us a warning. No, couldn't give the world a warning. Don't want to do that. Don't want. Don't want to appear stupid in front of the nations. Well, guess what? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's just. Uh, you know something. It's amazing. People can live in this world and not have Christ not have the Lord Jesus, not be saved. Uh, can you imagine being this way? And some people are this way, well, you know, there's nothing, after death, you know, we just were born, we die, and that's just it and everything. Uh, well, and that's why we get a lot of shootings and stuff like that, because people, people believe that, and believe that we're just, you know, it doesn't matter. And after they do what they do, either they get shot down or they commit suicide. Because why? If there's no hope, if they don't have any hope of knowing that there's something after this life, then you talk you talk about a miserable existence. So, you know, <laughs> I, that's I, I, it's all that's what I'm saying. Talking about this, all this bad stuff that's happened, that's going to happen, that's that's coming this way. That I was I gave a warning last night to the church even about it, about what the Lord is showing me. Uh, it uh, you know, it, it if people if you are not saved. I hope there's something, either myself or somebody else, another watchman, another man or woman of God on YouTube or in a video or whatever, uh, says something. (laughs) 
a cat's home. More guest shots, needy cat. Uh, says something that will convict your heart and you realize that the Lord Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life and you accept that and you become saved uh, because there is something coming after this existence. You are going to go one of two places. It's, it's plain and simple. It's the same old message that's been preached ever since the beginning, ever since the Lord came. It's either heaven or to gain, and we have a hell to shun. I, I would, I, I would not. If the Lord's pulling at your heart, or even right now, I would not hesitate one more second, one more minute, because you know what? It takes one more second and one more minute for you to die and for your, you to go into eternity. Hmm. Help, but anyway, get back to it. You know, there again, uh, that's uh, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, robots dying because of radiation. Yeah, like I said, thanks, thanks, Japan. Appreciate that. I like your electronics, but your your methods for handling world changing and destroying events stink, to say the least. All right, the U.S. government launches. A one hundred million dollar, yeah, one hundred million, yeah. But we're broke. We're wanting. We're keep going. And we just keep adding more and more and more to it. Uh, U.S. government launches a hundred million Apollo project of the brain intelligence project aims to reverse engineer. Oh, hang on, reverse engineer the brain to find algorithms that allow computers to think more like humans. The guy that brought the article to the attention gives a heading after that. It says, giving life unto the, and I'm giving, I'm giving Mr. Quell, Stephen Quell, the, the, the credit for these, because these, a lot of these are his news sources. There may be two or three that I've gotten from somewhere else, but a lot of these are from his news sources that come up. Uh, it says after that it says uh, giving life unto the image of the beast of revelations talking about you know the reverse engineer of the brain to find algorithms that allow computers to think more like humans well that sounds a little bit like uh, you know there's a lot about the reverse engineering or reverse uh, kind of like the uh, well we won't get into that here I'm, I, I don't want to jump in that rabbit hole and uh, that's something really uh, and a lot of stuff I need to write down so I can remember. Uh, boy, you know, getting the, this, this getting old thing and forgetting everything. That's uh, it's just not for me. Uh, so yes, yeah, so what's going to happen? What's going to what's going to give life into the image of the beast? What's the image of the beast going to be? Uh, is it, is it going to be some kind of? A lot of people are talking about some kind of uh, holographic technology. Uh, a lot of people want to press uh, talk about uh, Project Bluebeam and how it's used. Uh, I, I think they're they're a lot years ahead of that technology now, and that's just the one that everybody knows about and mentions and concentrates on. Uh, uh, so, but I, I think they uh, have got something a lot more. And whatever it is, it's it, it, Bible even says that you know and that, that they're going to be that they're going to see this and they're you know the false prophet and they're, they're going to be able to call fire down from heaven and you know they're said able to deceive the elect if it were possible uh so you know we're just keeping an eye on things we, we look and say okay this could be this this could be that uh the elite cover their tracks pretty darn well uh it takes the spirit of the lord uh, if everyone, everyone remembers in the book of Ezekiel when the Lord showed Ezekiel, a, a man of God, a, a, a mighty man of God, and showing things to him that people were doing, even the, the ancients of Israel, the priesthood, was doing behind closed doors. You know, after a day of walking around in the robes, you know, looking all regal and, you know, being, you know, being God's prophets and, you know, you know uh, and everything, and then at uh, you know not 
uh, doing worship, uh, the basically what comes down to basically satanic worship. Uh, you know, the Lord, and, and Ezekiel didn't even know that was going on. The Lord had to give him special vision to see what was going on. We need to pray for that vision to see what was going on, to see what the elite are up to. Now, we have insiders. We have people that tell us what's going on uh, that uh, have to hide their track, keep their tracks, because if not, uh, they'll be they'll be dead. Uh, we are with a government who does not care one bit uh, to, uh, even though we say that we have no policy of assassination, Come on now. Do you really believe that? Just because they said it. <laughs> oh, so so anyway, that's uh, that is something worth pondering on. Uh, the Apollo Project of the Brain. Well, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Let's see any more about that. Of course, I'll bring it to everyone's attention. That's uh, interesting. Reverse engineering of the brain. That's 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 fascinating. New morality. Do we have new more? Is is there a new kind? Is there a new morality that I don't know about? Is a uh, you know are, are we are we changing God's word to fit this new morality? You know how many different you know different kind of Bibles that we have? You know even uh, uh, sodomite Bibles, sodomy Bibles, uh, you know rainbow and everything. That still that still annoys me. They hide you know the sodomite people hijacking God's uh, rainbow you know said this was told told no this was going to be a covenant covenant that uh, you know, I would not destroy the the earth with water anymore and then then, then the Solomites hijack it the rainbow uh, you know whatever you know that have been turned over, you know, to a reprobate. Might now some have gotten out of it, and that's why I say that that stuff is not that this stuff is not what you're born. With. You're not born. It's not, you know. People say that, and you can't that you can't change. Hey, there's people that have, have changed, that have gotten saved, and now are with, you know, man with a woman, and you know, vice versa. You know, and the right and the right thing, as God puts it. And he said, you know, hey, this changed me. The Lord God changed me. It's a spirit, people. We got born that way. It's a spirit that hits you at a certain time, especially if in the teenage years when you're so unsure about things, so unsure about your life. That's one thing that the enemy uses to draw you into some kind of a lifestyle, and that lifestyle will include other things, most likely drugs, alcohol, some other stuff. So, uh, anyway, the new morality movement, listen to this, pushes big to silence Christians. Well, a big surprise. Everybody wanting to silence Christians. Uh, what we're seeing very clearly is an effort to target them, Christians, legally, when possible, and then to humiliate or deprive them of social respect, she said. Okay, I've got to click on that. This comes from, if I can get it, oh, here we go. Scroll down. This comes from Charisma News. And uh, starts out, it says, Some say American Christians, not pop up ads, my goodness. Uh, some say American Christians are paranoid. Okay, that they're feeling targeted and persecuted. Yes, uh, but is it possible America is facing a growing anti-Christian agenda? Should that even be a question? Uh, some of the front line of the culture wars have responded with a resounding yes. Absolutely. They feel it up close and personal right in their faces. Uh, I'm particularly sensitive to that because I'm Jewish. Brian Kamenker with mass resistance told CBN News. Uh, I saw what happened to Jews. Listen to this. 
He says, I saw what happened to Jews in the 1930s and 40s, and much of that same thing is happening to Christians now. He said, there's an organized movement to demonize Christians. Uh, a lot of this, I'm just kind of flipping through this, a, a lot of this uh, stuff, there's a, there's a group called the American Principles Project, uh, said we're seeing a very clear effort to target them, speaking about Christians, uh, and uh, like we said, legally humiliate and deprive them. Uh, and, but, says much of this comes from abortion and gay rights groups and their supporters, big surprise. Uh, that's, pre that's pretty uh, um, eye-opening when this Jewish person that went through the Holocaust said he's seeing things happen to the Christians that happened to the Jews back in the day during the Holocaust when that horrible, you know, when, you know, when Hitler just said, okay, here's the final solution. We're just going to wipe out the entire Jewish race. So, People don't believe this is coming. People, hey, but you, you guys out there that believe, you know, in the, you know, you know, uh, all of a sudden we start stomping our, or you know, we're getting our uh, feet stomped or something like that. We were going to be raptured out of here. We're still here, okay? Our brothers and sisters are still overseas, getting beheaded, getting killed for the gospel's sake. We're, uh, it's coming here, and and it is here now. To not to the extent that it'll happen over overseas. Hey, I hope you. I hope. I hope you guys are right. I hope you pre-trib guys are right. Till we get out of here before the heavy stuff starts. I don't take. I don't take pride in saying, hey, 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 "See, I told you so." No, not because not, not true. What we know is coming down upon the church and God's people. No, hey, I'd be brave. Let's get out of here. You know, pray the Lord, you know, and take us out here and get, you know, call us, call us up in the air so we'll be forevermore with you, with you, Lord, in the air. Uh, but if we don't, we've got to, we have to occupy and do what we're supposed to do for the Lord until he does call us home, okay? Uh, each and every individual uh, as a whole and, and maybe until, you know, you die, I, I die or whatever the case may be. We gotta stand for the Lord until the very end of our existence in this life, in this reality. Okay, uh, secret uh, skyborg. <laughs> okay, uh, Pentagon development includes avatar fighters and drone swarms. Interesting. This comes from another website that I frequent quite a bit really like and it is uh give the name before but I'll give it again. It is skywatchtv.com. Uh a lot of good articles, a lot of good videos, a lot of good interviews with uh people that are in the know and uh, that write these books and have done research and uh know kind of what's going on. Um so let's stand here. But that's uh yeah says, however, Alaska last summer, the Pentagon, the Pentagon experimented with new secret prototypes. Micro drones that can be launched from the flare dispensers of moving F-16s and F-A-18 fighter jets. And uh, you've seen, I'm sure a lot of people have seen that, you know, when it, like that, these come out as, you know, uh, out of these jets. I don't know, some of you may have, may have not. Uh, but any, at any rate, it says canisters containing the tiny aircraft descended from the jets on parachutes before breaking open on the back, providing, uh, oh, minute, allowing wings on each drone to swing out and catch the wind. Inch-wide propellers on the back provided propulsion as they found one another and created a swarm and some plans are extremely ambitious I'm, I'm just going to read this part uh, uh, one new project not previously reported is called Avatar and calls for the Pentagon to pair high tech 5th generation fighter jets like F-22 Raptor 
and F-35 Joint Strike Fighter with unmanned versions of older jets like the F-16 Fighting Falcon or the F-A-18 Hornet, uh, which would be flown without a pilot for the first time. The after however, was previously called Skyboard. <laughs> <laughs> why does that? Why does that? That doesn't surprise me. That's funny. That is, that's kind of funny. Uh, not funny that they can do. I'll actually. Hey, people, they've got this. This is just for public consumption. Okay, what we're reading here, a lot of this is just for public consumption. There's a lot that doesn't get said. I don't say that I see or read or see or anything because, and there's other people that, that that don't because there'd be people at your door and you know talking about you know people people uh, high authority that uh, that can make you disappear and people don't believe that but that's fine that you know whatever uh, the kind of many people that uh, know about all the financial stuff the bankers that uh, died mysteriously last year what was 50 something uh, you know like you know ones that committed suicide by shooting themselves in the back of the head four times you know that kind of deal uh, yeah but uh, you know, but we don't have, we don't have a policy of assassination. No. We have a government. We have a government that's full of a bunch of killers, the politicians that all they want is money, control, and power. Okay, let's see. This has become a pet peeve of mine right here. Uh, okay. I know everybody, and of course, you know, everybody's, you know, and every picture she ever sees smiling and looks all humble and everything. I know everyone just loves J.K. Rowling, loves the Harry Potter books, loves the movies. But let me tell you something. I understand they're just movies. I understand they're books. But still, they are turning children away from God's Word into believing in that they can do magic. Now, let me say this. The side of evil, the prince of this world, the demonic spirit, especially if they come to them, they can give. In fact, it's been had, you know, this the, a lot of the stuff that I'm getting to, how we know this and everything, that can give abilities to, supernatural abilities. You know, just as, just as a, for instance, a demonic spirit inside a person. You know, a four foot tall woman with arms about, you know, about that big, uh, you know, could barely couldn't lift hard, hardly lift anything that was to possess demonically that was slinging men you know tough fighting men you know 240 260 pound you know uh, fighting men slinging them around like rag dolls uh, legion in the bible given strength could, could not be could, uh, couldn't be any fetters they put on he would break these spirits can give you these type of abilities okay now I said that and say this. That's why I've got okay. Look and, and look. I, hey, I've watched them too. I, I never, I've never fully read the books. I've watched the movies. You know, hey, it's movies. Uh, but it's a serious thing because, and I, you know what? I hold her responsible for writing and doing this. Now I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me because they love Harry Potter and all this. But the, a lot of this stuff has changed kids because people, they, they interview the, the, watch some of these Christian people interview some of these kids saying, oh, what would you do if this person hurt you? Oh, I'd be like Harry Potter and I'd put a spell on him. I'd use, I'd use my magic wand or I'd do this and, I, and I'd, I'd put a spell on him and, or, or do turn him into this or something like that. They've actually done this. And so this is what kids have said. The, see how subtle the devil works? How the enemy works? Listen to me. That's how subtle the enemy works. He does it through stuff that doesn't seem like it's, you know, that's anything. You know, it's just a book, it's just a movie, anything like that. Subtle. Remember, you got to remember how, how a snake, how subtle and just slow and calculating that it looks and, you know, see something walk in front of it and it's sitting there was waiting to strike, still, then boom, grab it. That's how the enemy works, okay? Now, let's see. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling has been accused of cultural 
appropriation for over the first part of her new series of writings on the history of magic in North America. Um, her history of the 14th to 17th century was released on the Potter Moore website on Tuesday and quickly came under fire for placing Native American customs among her wizarding work. Well, yeah, but Native American they're you know they're not they don't worship the same creator god we do and they believe in other things even some reincarnation uh each each tribe has so many different types of beliefs and different different gods little g gods you know uh but in, at any rate uh so the press association reports that dr uh, adrian keen of the cherokee nation uh, who is a postdoctoral fellow in Native American Studies at, at Brown University and Ivy League Research University in Rhode Island was critical of Rowling's work. So Dr. Keene wrote in a blog post on her website, Native Appropriations, uh, Native spirituality and religions are not fantasy on the same level as wizards. These beliefs are alive, practiced, and protected. Uh, yeah, they are, but also they're not of God. Uh, and it says, and not fantasy on the same level as wizards. Wizards and sorcerers and all that, they're not fantasy either, okay? Yeah, don't, what? No, not shock, no. Like I said, demonic spirits can give you abilities, okay? And people, a lot of people don't want to get rid of them. Her testimony after testimony of people that have been called. Some of the guys that I trust and I listen to and called and said, you know, and uh, the spirits uh, that, that's in them, the demonic spirit, doesn't say that it's demonic spirit. It's the spirit of some uh, ascended master or somebody that lived many years ago and, you know, they're, they're giving this person insight to what's going on and stuff of the future. And uh, when well, the Bible, the, uh, the, 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 the damsel, the, the lady that followed Paul around, you know, that, that gave her masters much gain by the spirit that was inside of her of divination, and I believe it was, and all that. Uh, see, that right there. Uh, and being, you know what What happened? You know what happened there? Paul got, they, they kept following Paul for days. Oh, these men are the great men of God that show us the way to salvation. Paul finally got tired of it, turned around, didn't speak to the woman, spoke to that evil spirit, that demonic spirit, the spirit of divination inside of her, and said, Get out now. Be gone. We rebuke you. And the woman was freed from it made her masters very very mad because they had gotten much gain by her using that spirit hey remember the witch of Endor in the Old Testament the Bible judging up the spirits said God's ascending and descending the word you know used a little word a little little G God's Elohim the word you know, talking about the spirit, seeing the, everything. So, yeah, people, this stuff is real. This stuff is real. Yeah, the Native American beliefs and religions are real, but let me say, there's like like the rest of them. They they don't understand. They're they're worshiping. I know they're doing stuff the way their ancestors did, but somewhere along the way, something happened, and I, I and I won't go into what I suspect actually happened because. That'd be for another lesson. Actually, that would be more for a spiritual warfare type lesson. Uh, but anyway, uh, the, the, this pre people get mad. They got mad because they were talking about you know the the Native American spirituality was lumped in the same thing as the fake world of like Harry Potter. Now let me say this: the wizardry and the sorcery doesn't work like it's shown in the movies. Okay like you know like the wands and all that you know and and uh, well they people they sell wands for wiccans and everything like that to practice practicing wiccans uh and such but you know, you know it's not like you don't know, see any energy coming out of them and doing all that kind of stuff like that you don't see any of that uh it's uh if your spiritual eyes were to be open then yeah you could see stuff like that that was going on uh but at any rate these people are kind of uh, upset with uh, uh, 
Miss Rowling. Uh, this right here. Uh, said uh, Dr. Keene said she took particular issue with Rowling's claims that skinwalkers, people who could shapeshift into animals in Navajo lore, are actually anima, animagi, known to Harry Potter fans as wizard or witches that can turn into animals. Uh, the Pottermore Post read the legend of the Native American skinwalker, an evil witch or wizard that can transform into an animal at will has its basis in fact. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not speechless. I'm thinking here, okay? I'm thinking what I should say in a situation like this. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, that's something I want to get into later on uh, during the spiritual warfare type lesson. Because some of this stuff is going to be so heavy, so laced what what you believe and all these. And I believe these books come out for a reason, uh, to subvert young children into believing and practicing this stuff. You know, it would not surprise me whatsoever, you know, that, that young child, you know, uh, parents allow them to read these and other things and these wizarding and sorcery books and then when they get a little bit older, they start getting into because a lot of you know they're pushed in schools either Satanism or to be a Wiccan or something like that. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I, you know I hold Miss Rowling responsible, and, I, and other writers that write about this stuff, I hold them responsible uh, because they are subverting children into uh, practicing this stuff. Uh, and as I said, some of the people, a lot of people believe it's just fantasy. Uh, it's not. People's going to be very surprised uh, when they finally uh, learn stuff. If we even want to, even if we have, have or want to even think about it or worry about it when we get to heaven. Uh, but uh, keep watch what your children are doing you know I can't tell you how to raise your children because I don't have any and I don't do that I've said that before I, I don't tell you how to raise your children because you know I don't have experience with children as being a parent but I'll tell, I can tell you what God's word said and says about it you know you know to raise our children raise the children up in the fear and admonition of the Lord now I think that includes what they read, what they study, and you know, uh, many other things within that. So let's move on. We could really stay on that for a long time. I stuff, but I don't want to go into some of that stuff right now. Uh, let's see. We're almost an hour. Let's see. I'm trying to get down to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to go through these a little bit more. Uh, Fox News reports Marco Rubio to suspend campaign. Campaign. This is, but Ted Cruz better not tweet the link. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Attorney General Lynch, Loretta Lynch, uh, says Department of Justice has, has discussed whether to pursue civil action against climate change deniers. So this matter has been discussed. We have received information about it and have referred it to the FBI. Why? Why would they even care? If they know they're right, then why do they care? Why do they care these people are sitting here, uh, you know, denying that uh, climate change is going on? Think about it. She needs to be out of there. She, she this, this attorney general, she needs to be gone. And I'm not talking about killed or anything. I'm, I'm talking about she needs to be out of that position. That's just that's just amazing. You know, it's getting to the point you you can't talk or say anything without somebody going. Oh, look what they said. I'm suing you. Oh, you know you did. You caused me mental anguish. Oh. 
Oh uh, boy. Okay. Let's see. Said how the Russian Orthodox Church is backing Vladimir Putin's new world order. A lot of people see him as a hero just because he converted to Roman Catholicism, I, I, I believe, believe it was, after, you know, at one point, uh, and that he's uh, given Christians rights over there uh, in Russia, uh, which is that's, that's all fine and good, but you got to remember he is one of the high high level people that uh, one of the ones that yeah, you got you guys have heard me talk about the Bohemian Grove he's one of the world leaders that gets drawn to that every year and I still love the question that they put forward like brother Russ Dizdar has put forward who would have all the power enough power to draw all these people like him and media moguls millionaires elites and all that to Bohemia the, the, the Bohemian Grove uh, each year that they hold their cremation of care ceremony and everything like that where they have a mock human sacrifice which is actually real uh, this that just amazes me uh, well I mean it's the prince of this world it's blinded their minds is, is guiding them uh, you know and it, 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 and I try to and that's why I try to tell people and that is almost sometimes people just don't get it People don't see it and they still continue with it. Don't just concentrate on the devil, okay? Well, the devil, he's did this and he's did that. You got to remember, he is the head of all this, yes. Out, but we've got to deal with the, uh, the, the fallen ones, the fallen angels that fell down with him and also with the demonic spirits. They are two separate things. That belongs into one of our spiritual warfare classes. I won't go into it, but like as I've said before, that's, they are two separate entities. We have an army of very bad stuff. Now, this is sort of what I said last night that is headed our way. A million, uh, thousands and millions or whatever, a line. You see a line of them in the battle line forming, marching this way with the prince of this world walking in front, heading this way, leading them. People, we have got to stand. We have got. If you are not sure of your salvation, you make sure your salvation. You get your spiritual armor on. You start reading, start studying God's word, and start growing, because it's coming, people. It is coming. Whew, man, uh, let's see. Doomsday weapon. Russia. Russia's advanced RS-26 intercontinental ballistic missile has raised. Uh, admiring eyebrows and admiring eyebrows of military experts everywhere uh, the official uh, okay I'm gonna try to pronounce this okay Rossiskaya I believe I got that right actually Gazetta newspaper what wrote that uh, trying to move on here uh we're almost at the end it's it's like something out of a movie huge gas leak explosion in seattle injures nine firefighters and shatters surrounding buildings hmm, where has some of that has to do with the, the, the methane leaks that's going on around over that area uh let's see how that's that's over in that area yeah uh we have flooding and evacuations uh and uh, in the south in parts of Louisiana and Texas and Arkansas said they received nearly a foot of rain uh, they're reporting two two drownings uh, thus far uh, Islam hates us did you know that I hope you did we said enough we talked about enough yeah they do uh, Islam hates us Donald Trump makes another controversial anti-Muslim remark in an interview with Anderson Cooper. Well, good. I'm glad. I don't much care for Anderson Cooper either. Uh, and Mr. Well put a, he put a uh, something after this along with this and it says, telling the truth is so despised that the politically correct MSM can't bring themselves to state the obvious. Uh, but yes, it is obvious. You know, <laughs> it's, 
it's right there and it's happening here and around the world people Islam hates us they hate us Christians they hate anybody that's not part of their religion they're going to kill you if you're not part of your, if you don't convert over and become uh, an, an, a Muslim that's any, that's any religion it's not just Christianity they're hitting Christianity hard because we're the other major religion in the world so at any rate uh Let's move on here. We're about now. Uh, note to leftists, if you issue tweets about killing Donald Trump, the Secret Service will find you. Uh, how many people in the, uh, have, done, have done that? I actually have given death threats, verbal, on the news, on their own uh, websites or radio broadcasts, whatever, actual threats saying that he needs to be killed. Now, what would happen if that was said about other certain people in our government? They'd be oh, they'd be prosecuted. They'd be thrown under the jail somewhere, or thrown in or thrown in some jail, and then then throw the jail somewhere else. Hidden. Hmm. My goodness. Uh, martial law of the mind, predictive technologies, and we've talked about this. Excuse me, I got cat hair. Uh, Technologies bring in wicked times, algorithms to kill freedom, scripts to destroy lives, and martial law of the mind. Wicked times lie ahead. Devil's attempt at omniscience won't work when power goes out. Uh, absolutely, devil is not omniscient. Uh, only God is omniscient. Uh, uh, and really and truly, I don't believe the devil is uh, really omnipresent because it says he's going walking down to and fro seeking whom he may devour it doesn't say that he's everywhere beholding everything like the Lord is of course he's not in the same class shouldn't even put him in the same class as the Lord <laughs> there is no contest no contest whatsoever so anyway uh, you know the, but but while we're here we've, we've got to fight that battle that's why I've said time and time again Will you stand with me and will you fight this battle with me and pray? Be prayer warriors. Face hacking. Okay. It's interesting. 3D projection mapping in real time. Uh, S asks, will we get closer to the matrix and farther from, rea from reality? Uh, yeah. We're almost at that point now with the gaming systems. You know, we have that you know, they put the goggles on and you play a game and stuff like that. And it's a virtual reality type scenario. Uh, well, there's some people that believe well, that what we live in as we call reality is really a digital type of a situation. Uh, in spiritual speaking terms. A place for us to have it. A place for us to live and breathe and everything, you know. Just, uh, so, you know, I leave that to the listener and uh, to, to think about that, ponder that, read it, study about that. Interesting thought. You know, hey, I'll give you anything to read. I eat the meat, as I'm talking about reading stuff and listening to stuff. I, I eat the meat and I spit the bones out. Okay? All right. Uh, Trump calls out BLM out. Trump calls BLM out. For stealing ranchers land if everyone knows about you know the Bundy Ranch and all that happened and the murder of this this this, this gentleman uh, what was the name of Lavoie Fennecum uh, drew him out knew and knowing what was going on and you know knew they were going to stop and knew they were going to kill him but at any rate uh, it says stealing ranchers land US needs a president who obeys the rule of law absolutely absolutely do we don't need another we don't need another Washington insider in the White House now I'm not going to be political I, I don't, I'm not going to sit and endorse anybody I don't do that I don't like politics I don't get into politics some people that's that is their hobby is politics but I say this the current one in there needs to go the current president we have needs to go get out there get out of that position but but pray 
Pray with me that we don't get something worse in there. Saying, how worse can it be? We're, you know, we're at the threshold of, you know, insanity and lunacy at this point. Yes, I agree. Absolutely. But we need, absolutely, well, we need a president who, who, that, that will stand up to these people and say that, you know, this nation is going to turn back to God and the Lord Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through Him. That's what we need a president to say. We're not going to get a president ever to say even one that, that's a Christian or something like that is going to be evasive because he's got to try to pander to everybody, to all other religions and all other people. So, at any rate, that is the last of the news uh, today so far. Anything comes up that is of... Uh, of uh, serious nature, something needs to be reported. I skipped a few things well, as usual. That just was that wasn't really, you know, it's just reports on the way economic stuff is going up and down and everything, and that's just normal. Uh, so at any rate, um, that is the news so far today. We'll, we'll get on later if there's anything else, and I'm I'm gonna take a break and drink some more coffee, eat some breakfast, do something. I'm gonna come back on and do a uh, preaching and teaching video uh, so stay tuned for that uh, well shouldn't say stay tuned it's going to be recorded you can watch it at any time Whew, I'm losing it uh, at any rate um, have a blessed day and uh, like I said I hope that you by the time you've seen this video maybe tonight and after or something you got home from work and you've had a good day in the Lord beautiful day out and we thank the Lord for it Thank the Lord most of all for saving our souls. Thanks for taking time to watch this, share this, uh, let people know what's going on. Okay, don't hold, don't hold down the stuff to yourself that way that you know, that you're the only one know it, sit and ponder, move it, move it down the line, share it with people. Uh, but at any rate, uh, this was Tim once again from the Word of Life Church, and uh, we will uh, see you in the next video. Talk to you in a bit now. Bye.